Hey y'all, what's up? It's Friday, so I'ma keep it black, but I'm not about to keep it brief. I'm just here to read these white motherfuckers at the Capitol in no particular order. It was the Kim Possible and the Ron Stoppable on the side of the building for me. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> You're so mad because you finally see what the rest of us have been trying to tell you that the longest standing and unchecked terroristic threat in America has been white supremacists. It be your own people. Let me tell you what these good old boys meant when they said give me liberty or give me death. Give me the liberty to be sexist, racist, xenophobic, anti-queer, and anti-anybody that don't prescribe to my transatlantic version of Christianity or off with their heads. It's either their way or the highway, but it's documented in your words that all men are created equal under God. We didn't mean that for the blacks. So now when we are using a system that you created to obtain the rights you get to experience so freely, all of a sudden it's democracy. <laughs> Throw the whole thing away. So I guess you thought it was your turn to make a political statement in the street. Sir, <laughs> ma'am, especially you with your, we're storming the Capitol, it's a revolution. Girl, if you don't get your, oh, do you want a revolution? Black people are in the streets protesting murder, oppression, suppression, a lack of basic human rights and equal protections under the law. And what were you showing your behinds for? Oh, to be able to murder black people in the name of self-defense, to oppress black people in the name of white supremacy, to suppress black votes in the name of white political power, and to have more protections under the law than black people in the name of white comfort. It was the noose for me. It's giving very much Civil War Confederacy vibes. Hey, the Confederacy was fighting for states' rights. States' rights to own slaves. Next. A joke. <laughs> An embarrassment. The crimes? Trespassing. Destruction of government property. Mail theft. That's a felony. Entering restricted government property with a weapon. Let it have been a brown man. And they brought bombs? Death immediately and it would have been called justice it was the beating on the blue lives that matter for me i don't want to hear any comparisons about what black people did in the summer of 2020 to what happened on january 6 2021 because for one thing black folks know not to go to somebody's house and put their feet on the table this was baseless insurrection anarchy terrorism and treason but here's the thing don't get me wrong revolutions are a natural part of history rulers have been usurped governments have been overturned but it's always been evident and it's always been criticized when power was seized just for the sake of transferring power Revol Revolution has only been just and true when it's championing the oppressed. And let me tell you something, conservatives. You literally have lacked for nothing. It's in the name. Y'all conserving it for yourselves. Nothing has ever been denied to you. Your natural and civil rights have never been infringed upon. So much so that you don't even know the true definition of being oppressed and any minor inconvenience or infringement upon your privilege would spark discontent. Mayhem. White Christians. Y'all remember that scripture? One day the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. The day has come and the girls are scared. I guess they didn't think it would come so soon. Oh, they've only been 400 years in power. You broke into a government building. Negroes could never. It was the police letting the gates open for me. And not only did you make it out alive, you made it home to see your children. Oh, but the Black Panthers stormed the California State Capitol in 1967 with their assault rifle. Yes, honey, and they were allowed to. Entering government buildings with weapons did not become illegal until 1995 after the Oklahoma City bombing. The most devastating act of domestic terrorism in U.S. history, by the way. And guess who did it? Two white boys. Had this exact situation been flipped and we would have been protesting the result? And mind you, we would not have been protesting because we lost. We would have been protesting because we knew it would have meant the continued empowerment of violent racism. It would have been a massacre, but you knew that. White supremacists treat America like a woman, a white woman specifically. Something to be defended and honored beyond reproach and whose honor needs to be protected by any means necessary. And can't nobody disrespect America and get away with it except white men. And Dr. Brittany Cooper took it a step further. She called Trump an abuser, but I called white supremacy the abuser. And we all know the most dangerous time for a woman in an abusive relationship is when she decides to leave. And because America is starting to leave white supremacy behind, white supremacy is acting up. The tea is hot today. He lost. You lost. It's over. You're done. Listen, come close. The chasm between rhetoric and reality obviously doesn't exist for you people. And the way y'all are walked down the steps kindly after your act of terrorism shows that you won't know the difference anytime soon. It was the guns being pointed directly at aggressive minds who intended to cause harm but not being fired for me and that's the thing black people don't wish death on you as much as we should be able to we don't we just wish we would be treated the same way when we're fighting for our rights i need a refill so white liberals don't think i forgot about you this is your mess to clean up we don't want to see any more black people cleaning up the mess of irresponsible unhinged racist white people so unbuckle those cup planes, take off those suit jackets from macy's kick off those so kate louboutins and don't be afraid to get them running your stockings put in some elbow grease and scrub that shit up yourself call them what they are terrorists lock them up we want federal charges and convictions for everybody including donald trump